In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. This video is a story of what Jesus did for you and I. It says in Psalm 139 verse 13, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. It also says in Jeremiah 11, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. You delight God. He created you the way you are because that is you. He is so madly in love with you. All he wants is for you to run back to him. We all know the story of Adam and Eve. Eve was tempted by Satan. Adam and Eve decided to take a bite of the apple and that's when sin entered the world because of their disobedience to God. They chose to disobey God. And when we were born, we were naturally born into that sin tendency. Because of sin, we are deserving of death. And that is where it leads. But Jesus loved us too much. So he came in our place to die on the cross for us so that we could have that right relationship with God through accepting him into our hearts. If you ask yourself, what is it that I really want? Most people will answer this with probably something like, I want to feel loved. I want to feel valued and accepted. You desire fulfillment. We try to fill this void or this emptiness in us by either being in a relationship, playing sports, getting famous, maybe alcohol, partying, drugs. And honestly, maybe some of these things might fill you for a short while, but you often find you are still lacking something after a while. What you are really searching for is that right relationship with God that is meant to be there from the very beginning. But because of sin, that has separated you from God. What the world offers is dust compared to everything Jesus can give you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the way, not a way. Jesus restores our relationship with God. I say relationship because that is what it is. It is not a religion. Many people say to me, oh, Kayla, um, I'm not into religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with a loving father, God. And some of you might be like, oh, I don't have a good relationship with my dad. I understand that from, from experience for myself as well. But God is the perfect father. Everything you want in a, in a dad is God and more. And, and God is your friend. Jesus is like one of my best friends. I tell him everything. John 14 verse 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are new. Your past, your sins, and all the mistakes you've made have been washed away. You have like a clean slate with God, and now you belong to him. Before you belonged to the devil and yourself, but now you belong to God because you chose to obey him and do it his way rather than your own way. He is perfect. He is good. He is love. That is his very nature, love. And he just wants the best for you. He may not promise us a pain-free life because in this fallen world with sin and the devil running around, there, there honestly isn't one. But with God, you have this joy in the midst of suffering. You have this peace and, and, this, and this hope. And, and Jesus says he is near to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirits. And he also says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. He, promise, he promises to never leave us or forsake us. He is with us always by his Holy Spirit. And that is what gives us this peace in the midst of chaos. We no longer have to fear either. And we have this hope because we know one day this will all fade away and we will be with him. And we also know the end story because of what the Bible says. We know that Jesus wins and we know that we are overcomers because we have Jesus living in us. And it says in Philippians that, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I mean, when you give your life to Jesus, you have this new way of seeing everything. Like, life is just positive. Like, 
you see everything so so differently because you're looking through a new lens now and of course we still have choices to make but if we choose in obedience to God's leading and what the Bible says it will all be worth it